I think it's time that you guys see a more personal side of me. A lot of these recent videos I've been looking at memes and more memes, but I feel like I haven't talked about myself. This YouTube channel is about Fluke the Husky. It should be, should be about Fluke the Husky, right? Well, I'll let you guys in on uh, a little bit of what I've been doing lately. And uh, I also want to take this little personality test because I saw it all over Twitter, so I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. But I picked up guitar again. Eh? Eh? Stratocaster. Nice. So my friend gave me his guitar because I helped him move and this is the guitar that he gave me. And the pickups don't work, so I just ordered some pickups and I'm gonna like replace them. I was looking at getting a new guitar, but I didn't want to spend that much money on a guitar. I felt like it, it would be, it would feel better if, if I could just customize it to my liking. So I'm gonna like, I don't know, I'm gonna polish it up a little bit, replace some parts, even replace this uh, white thing on the front of it. I've been playing guitar for like 12 years, okay? And I don't know what this thing is called. I only just started picking up electric guitar though. I've been playing acoustic guitar for a long time, but I'm excited. I'm excited to modify this thing to my liking. But yeah, I keep telling you guys, I'm like, yeah, I want to like come out with a with an album by the end of the year. And I'm still holding to that. Like I'm still writing music and I am still playing guitar and singing songs. And I would love to eventually go to, go to gigs and coffee shops and sing at conventions eventually. So if you're a convention and staff and you want to see me perform uh just hit me up but yeah i think it's exciting music is something that has always been around for me but i kind of put it on the back burner when in like 2017 when i started going to college and i just kind of stopped playing guitar and i stopped singing so i feel like now that i am not dedicating so much time to youtube and i'm dedicating more time to myself playing music singing songs not necessarily sharing everything with everyone it just feels really nice it, it feels nice to step into a, a new hobby and eventually maybe that will go somewhere. Who knows? I'm not doing it to go somewhere. I'm not doing it for attention or anything. I'm doing it because I like doing it. And um, yeah, I just want to thank my editor, George, because you take off a lot of work off my shoulders because editing is a lot of work. I'm glad that he came along at the right time. It gives me an opportunity to still do this. YouTube stuff, but I can also pursue some of my passionate hobbies like playing guitar and singing. If you guys want to hear me sing, there is this uh, video called Stop This Train that um, I actually had professionally produced in a studio. So you can check that out here. Will someone stop this train? But anyways, that was just like a little update of, of what's been going on in my life, what I'm currently obsessed over right now. <laughs> a lot of you are asking about how Tyrex yeah. is doing. Tyrex is doing okay. We've been uh, doing a lot of outdoor activities like skiing and snowboarding stuff now that there's a lot of snow falling. We really love this place. It's really sunny all the time. And we also get a lot of snow. So it's like snow and sun, but um, yeah, he's doing good. We're going through some life changes right now and uh, we're just navigating. We're navigating right now. I think ultimately we're, we're both pretty happy. But how have you guys been? Feel free to like leave a little comment below. I'll be sure to reply in the comments. Give me some updates on, on how you've been or if you've been watching me all these years, how you have progressed in your life. I'm interested to, to hear about that kind of stuff. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get on to this week's video. It is yet another personality test, but this one is very interesting. So this, I've been seeing all, all over Twitter. Basically what people do is they take this test and it, it puts you on the scale between how thankful versus how arrogant you are, how welcoming versus how dismissive you are, polite versus forceful. I think it has like 10 different categories. As a dog who likes to talk about their feelings all the time, this is a perfect test for me. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna take my paw off for this. It's getting serious. Click here to start. Awesome Valleys, you will be presented with 68 statements. 68, 68 statements. For each one, click the button with your opinion on it. Got it. One has to prove they're worthy of my respect before they receive it. Ooh, ooh, jumping right into it, okay. No, I feel like I generally just respect everyone because I generally want strangers to respect me. The sentence angers me. Oh man, I don't know how I feel about that. I'll say, I'll say disagree, how about that? I'm most likely to give a warm welcome to people just entering a community that I'm established in. A warm welcome, like to new furries? Yeah, I feel like I'm generally pretty accepting towards new people that are coming into the fandom. Very happy with that, strong angry. 
three. I first judge a person based off of outwardly observable characteristics. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, these are really long sentences. This is like harder than fifth grade. Outwardly observable characteristics. Just say you judge a book by a cover. How about that? I feel like I, <laughs> I remember. I always get so angry at these tests. I'm like, you need to fix the way you're asking these questions, guys. Make it quick, especially if it's 68. Who's gonna dedicate 68 questions of their time? Me. I judge people off of how they look. Disagree. Please, when newcomers uh, attempt to join or be part of my own spaces. I don't know if I have a lot of spaces that foster community. I think because I'm an introvert, I'm very like in my own space doing my own thing. So as soon as somebody steps into that, I'm just like, whoa, chill. Can you step back into that hallway? We can talk it out and we can go plan something. I don't know. Um, you know, I'll say disagree. Introvert, I want to show equal levels of respect to those who I first meet instead. Yeah, I agree. Equal level of respect. I hold grudges for long periods of time. <laughs> oh god, I used to. I feel like now I've chilled out a lot more, but I think because I'm not very outspoken and I don't talk to people about my concerns, I just kind of bottle it up inside. That was a major contributor to me holding grudges, but now I feel like I keep open communication, so I'm gonna say disagree. It is uncharacteristic of me to let something go when I feel like that person has previously wronged me. I think if they come to me and they ask for forgiveness, then I'll generally forgive them, but it takes me a while to, c to come back around to people who have wronged me, so. Okay, you know, I'm gonna be the bad guy. I'm gonna say slightly, partially agree. Sue me. I believe good prevails over evil in the end. Mm hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty fucked up world, but I feel like I want to be an optimist. So I'm always pushing for wanting to be better and wanting to see the good in people. I'll say agree. People can be trusted to do the right thing most of the time. Do I trust people? Do I generally trust people? Yeah. Uh, looking at the state of things, those who believe people are good at heart must be blissfully ignorant. Yeah, I mean, things are in a pretty bad state sometimes. So how do I feel about other people who are optimists? I'm gonna partially disagree. Even in times where people are mad at another who has made a big mistake, I believe in the power to correct it and improve. Big mistakes, that's that's like a wide range of stuff. Like there could be a lot of big mistakes that someone could make. I think that there's a lot of drama that circulates in the fandom and uh, a lot of people get canceled for doing shit that other people don't like. And I think my take on that is we're all people, you know, if we do something bad, we have the ability to improve. Just because you have seen this one person do this really shitty thing doesn't mean that they're a shitty person for the rest of their life. You know, I think everybody is trying to navigate what it means to be a decent citizen. And if they're just a shitty person, they're just a shitty person. I don't know. I'm gonna agree. More likely to see how something could go wrong rather than its potential upsides. Upsides versus something that will go wrong. I will partially agree because I'm trying to get better at it, at being an optimist, but I do tend to freak out at things. Maybe it's from the military. Maybe they're, they've trained me to always be risk aware. Whatever. I would give extra that I have to others rather than spend on myself. I feel like I've been doing that a lot more lately, but I know that I need to exercise that muscle more. It feels good. It helps them out a lot more than that money would do for you, so I'll agree. It's likely for me to decline a request on the basis of having that time or resource better spent furthering my own goals. Yeah, <laughs> people asking me to go out and do things and I'm like, hmm. I have things going on, I'm sorry I can't go. And I'm like usually just in my room singing, playing guitar or something, or making YouTube videos, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm unlikely to speak my mind and prefer to let others sort things out. Wow, I feel called out. Yeah, okay, I agree. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. I need to step up, step up and talk more, but I agree. Easily affected by the feelings or attitudes of others. It used to be a strongly agree, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say slightly agree. Okay, I'll say agree. <laughs> I tend to brush off my weakness to focus on my strengths. No, I feel like I talk about my weaknesses all the time, so disagree. It's an amazing thing to have a sincere conversation with a friend where you really feel the connection. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. I live for that. I value the truth even if it may be advantageous to lie. Ooh, I strongly agree. It's better to have open communication. I think it's just better to tell the truth. I'm opening to trick others with plots and schemes to achieve goals. Wow, damn, chill. Strongly disagree. It is important that I use my manners. I don't like to beg as it may be annoying. I agree. Mostly. Sometimes it's just fun to whine. I find it important to let others know that they can work at their own pace and that they do not have to do something for me. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Lying is not necessarily evil. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's a hard one. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to agree on this one because there are situations where lying or telling a fib is uh, necessary to do. Yeah, I'm just thinking like kids and parents that are divorcing or something and they're too young and I wouldn't lie and said, oh, we're not divorcing, but I guess it's not necessarily lying, is it? I don't know. I'm just gonna say agree. Fuck it. I forget to say thank you or don't even bother with it. Strongly disagree. I say thank you all the time, almost too much. I remind myself of how fortunate I am to have privileges and opportunities society has given me. Absolutely. I definitely have a lot of privilege and I recognize that and I appreciate it and I'm glad that I have scored in the human lottery. I forgot what it's called, but basically I just appreciate that I was born in a country that is so willing to let you chase your dreams and gives you the ability to do so. I know there are a lot of situations where people don't have the resources to do, do things that they want, but the country that I live in, it's, it's very easy to be able to chase things that you want to do. So I am thankful for that. Sit down, please. Another moment you've all been waiting for. Ooh. We finally made it guys. 68 questions have been answered. That was quite a long time. George, thank you for sitting through all that and editing it. It's been 84 years. Let's see the results. So if it's a choice between being thankful or being arrogant, I am more thankful. Yeah, 84% thankful. Still slightly arrogant, but I'll take 84%, that's fine. Uh, reception, receptive to people doing things for me. I'm generally very welcoming, 77%, that's good. That's great. Asking Axis, I'm pretty civil, 62% civil. Sometimes I like to be forceful. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you could draw a lot of things from that. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what things. Top or bottom? Okay, anyways. Integrity axis, direct and open. Yeah, I like being honest. Physical axis, charitable. Altruistic versus uncaring. Wow. I think I, I wanna push that bar a little bit further, but we working on it, guys. We working on it. Intrapersonal axis, individual. Assertive versus turbulent. What does that mean? Oh, so like turbulent is like go with the flow and assertive is like commanding like what needs to be done. Okay, yeah, I can see it. I feel like I'm more go with the flow, but that's fine too. I can be assertive. I'll be assertive. Top or bottom? Outlook axis balanced. I am equally as much an optimist as I am a pessimist. That's interesting. Cool. That's the thing in a nutshell. That's me. Wow. Who would have thought? Anyways, I just wanted to shoot like a little bit more personal video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to take this test too, I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, if you haven't commented yet about how you have been these past years, you need to go ahead and comment below. I, I would like to know. I'll reply to a lot of you, I promise. But anyways, that was the test. Thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you guys next week. If you like the video, make sure you leave a little thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff that I do in the future, make sure to subscribe. I'm getting too used to saying it. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I also didn't have my coffee, so it's gonna be a very relaxed video. Ah, ah, I'm poodling. It's fine. I just won't show my hand, my arms. Don't look at them. If you're a convention manager and you convention manager, what is that? <laughs> this week I'm gonna be doing a. Um, uh, we should not make people suffer. <laughs> we should not make people suffer. We should not make. We should oh God. Uh, now it's just turning into a, just a blob, a blob of text. Subscribe, smash like. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done.